Hi, this is Ace Trigger 00, and I am going to show you guys a tutorial on how to add gun effects on the app Gun Movie Effects on iPad. So, first, you're going to do is you want to open your app and I'll wait for it load. And then, um, what you do once it goes in, push over here, this is where the at risk is. You uh, just tap to start and you push import. Now, you have to have footage obviously in your. Um, uh, in your uh, pictures or photos, whatever, so you have a photo, whatever. So you click which one you want to use, which one you use this one. Now, the only difference between using the um, program on here than versus using the iPhone and the iPod, which is more advantage, you have this little play button over here, which you could use to play your footage versus having to use the little arrows and go at it one frame at a time. So if you um so if you push a play button, you could play it and see all the stuff like um uh, like that pretty much. Versus if you just use these little arrows and you have to click it one scene at a time, which that is good for when you uh are editing. So first things first you wanna go open uh click that button which it shows all your type of effects that you can use in here you got blood you got sound effects you got uh, silencers shotguns but for we want to use when use a handgun so we go all the way to the top and choose handgun side view okay then what you do is get to the first point of where the fire is supposed to come out of the gun so it's about right there, right before it pulls the trigger. So then you take your effect, you want to turn it around, and then you want to size it so that's right, the right size you want it. Then once you got it right where you want it, you push this little plus button, which adds it on there. So when you push this, you see what it, see how it adds it, and then. Now, one downside is that pretty much once you uh, add it in, it stays exactly wherever you put it at. So if your actor does a lot of bucking with the gun, then it's gonna it might look kind of bad because then the effect is gonna stay right there wherever you shot it at. So just make sure you uh, watch out for that. So. Um, and just add your effects in the spots so I need to go in. See right here, it's gonna be kind of a hard one to do. Let's angle that up a little bit. Let's bring it down just a tad bit. Go. Let's bring it a little closer. Oops. Uh, no. Well, that was just a uh, poop up, but oh well. So like um I mean they're you probably better off you actually using like something like After Effects which I do have but um if you want something just kinda fast and quick and easy that you can do wired off your devices, I, I do suggest this app. Um I use it. Uh for this last one, 
he kind of fought, jumps back, so let's add a little funny effect. So let's go with the laser side view. But I, like I said, um, if you want something a little better, more professional looking, I suggest using like After Effects if you can afford to get that. But um, I guess I do suggest this app. It is pretty good. I use it for um, all of my films up to date. So uh, I would suggest it to use. Okay, so we have all that. So one thing, like I said, you know, having it playing, you can uh, you can play it all on here versus you can't on the uh, iPod. So yeah. that's what it looks like. See, they look pretty clean, except for that one little mistake right there. So then, after you have your footage, you push this uh, little check right here, which the check creates a movie, and it's going to put it with all your sound effects in it and everything. <coughs> Wait for that build movie, and then once it builds, you can push the play button here. Yeah. You see with the sound effects. And then once you have everything that you um, um, save everything you got right there that you wanted, you push this little button right here, which is saved to your camera roll, which you will be able so that way you can ex ac access it in your camera roll to like save it. Say if you have iMovie on your computer that you use, you can import it that way from your uh, uh, iPad or iPhone or whatever, or if you just have iMovie on your uh, iPad like I also have, you can just do it from there. So um, push OK. Now, when you push done, if you want to view it on here, you go back to push, uh, the at risk. If you push gallery, you can see all the other movies on here that you made, or all the other effects that you did on here. You can view them all right here. Like, um, uh, let's see. This one, this one that I did for one of my recent movies. So um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, and here's the one we just did. Yeah. But um, uh, yeah, like like I said, uh, this app has some some good things about it and some bad things. Uh, one thing that I really don't like too much is that. You can't necessarily change. Take the, uh, oh, actually, you can't. Okay, then. So, you know what? Let's do that right quick. Now, like I said, the one on the, uh, if you use it on the iPod or on the iPhone, it's a little different. Like, um, these buttons right here are not on there. Well, one of them are, but it's just to remove all of the frames. This one moves just one frame, which is good because that's what I would want to do for right here, I think it is. Oops. Put that back. Okay, so this one. So, so you move it right there, and then it should erase. So when you play it again, that one little bam. So it's good. So you push the check to build your movie, which is building. Building, 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 built. And after, I guess after you're done, you push play to view it. And then, save the camera roll. And that, my friends, is how you make...
gun effects using the gun movie effects app for iPad, iPhone, and iPod. This is H3 with a tutorial. Uh, have a good one.